first thing I want to hit on is that the the biggest issue that you have is that most of the time you're looking to move something into a direction that rewards you, right? Uh, I want to lose weight because I, I feel ugly. I don't look good when I get out of the shower. My knees hurt when I walk upstairs. Whatever the rationale is, you know, I want to keep up with my kids. Whatever the rationale is that, you know, people put in their heads. <clears throat> so it's it's some sort of improvement. It's, it's, it's something better. I want to make more money. I want to get a promotion. I want to move from a Korean car to a Japanese car, from a Japanese car to a German car, whatever it happens to be, whatever your goal might look like. And one of the most significant reasons, one of the biggest contributing factors I find that people don't pay enough attention to is that, look, I mean, if you want to be rich, you can't hang your, you can't hang out with poor people. If you want to be healthy and fit, you can't hang around with people that aren't healthy and fit. You always become the average of the people you spend the most time with. And that means you're going to have to make some difficult choices, like stop hanging around certain people, stop doing certain things that you've been comfortable doing, right? The definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, trying to get a different result, but you're continuing to do the same thing over and over again. You never get that different result. Surround yourself with the same losers that got you to where you're at are not going to get you to where you want to go. I've always said, if you're the smartest guy in the room, you're in the wrong room. Get out of the damn room. Go to a better room. There's different ways to do it. You can buy your way into a better room. You could, you know, you could network your way into a better room. There's many different ways to do it. But the excuses are endless. You know, I'm sure you guys have noticed a pattern by now, especially if you watch the videos on YouTube rather than listen to the audio recording on the podcast that it gets uploaded to. Um, so for frame, for those of you that listen, the vast majority of the guys that call in with problems in, the, in their lives have one very obvious problem in their life that they don't seem to address or take serious enough. And that's their health. That's their weight, right? Um, I don't give away my my age, my year of birth. I'll you know I'll say I'm a seventies guy, right? I was born in the seventies, and there's a lot of guys my age that don't look like they were born in the seventies. They look like they were born in the sixties or fifties in some cases, right? Out of shape, overweight, don't have any style, no masculine frame. They sound feminine. If you if you allow this into your life, then you're just going to become part of that, you know. It's been said, you hang out with five broke, dumb, fat losers, you're going to be the sixth. You know, if if their hobbies include sitting around doing nothing with their lives, watching sports or playing video games for 72 hours straight, you're going to be the sixth, right? So guess what? It's time for you to make some tough choices about who you're going to surround yourself with. That's the number one thing most people get wrong, right? You want to get fit? Stop hanging around fat people. Hang around fit people, right? You want to get rich? Stop hanging around poor people. Hang around rich people, right? It's not complex. Like I said, a lot of the guys that call in my shows, it's, it's, it's always the same common theme. Hey, dude, yeah, you, you got a problem with your girl. Hey, dude, yeah, you know, you got a problem with whatever at work or something like that. Uh, have you looked in the mirror recently? Because I can see a lot of extra body weight around your face, and that's all I'm looking at in the screen. So I don't even know what the rest of you look like, but something's wrong, right? Deal with something that obvious first, right? who you surround with and what you're doing. I'll talk about choices in a, a moment. One of the other issues that many of you guys fall into is you, is you limit this to, oh, I'm going to save it for New Year's. Why? Why? Why do you have to wait for a specific date to do something about something that's shit in your life, right? I took a look at my training regime around September at the end of the summer, been doing boxing, been strength training, for years, for decades, since I was, since my dad handed me Charles Atlas's guide to lifting weights, which is something that he had from like the 50s or 60s or something. It was like a black and white or a 40s sort of thing up in a binder. And uh, it's been going on for a long, long time. I wasn't getting it right. I'll be honest with you. I wasn't getting it right. And I didn't wait until January 1st to hire a trainer. In September, I said, I'm not happy with this. I'm going to, I want to, I want to get, you know, that, that leanness going on that I always was able to maintain when I was younger and it's, and it's harder as you get older, right? It's a lot harder as you get older. You have to, you have to really be super disciplined with uh, training technique, diet and everything like that. So I hired a personal trainer and he's been great. 
I've been using them for about six weeks now and uh, feeling amazing, getting great results. You're showing me stuff I didn't even contemplate. I've been doing this for decades. I mean, you think you know everything. You've done something for 10,000 hours. And then you hire somebody that was an actual bodybuilder, somebody that was um, judging bodybuilding competitions and, and he knows about aesthetics and physique. He just, he just took one look at me. He goes, your calves are pathetic. You have no hamstrings and your rear delts suck. We're going to start with those three areas, right? Boom, 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 right? So, I mean, you want to make drastic changes. Stop waiting to make them. Take them immediately. Surround yourself with great people and hire experts You know that can help you. Anyway, the next thing I want to hit is you don't define a, a specific goal. You don't frame the specific goal positively. Like if, if you're saying, I want to be rich, well, what is what is the benefit to that? Like how much more money do you want to make? Be specific. Did you make $100,000 last year? What do you want to make this year? 150, 200, a mil, right? Get clear on what the goal looks like. If you're six foot two and 310 pounds and you should really weigh about 205 to 210 pounds, get clear on what that goal needs to look like, right? I mean, the first thing that I do when I see a aesthetic um, men's physique competitor, for example, like on a on a, a feed or a bodybuilding site or something like that, I'd be like, okay, that guy looks like he's about how tall? 6'2". Oh, cool. Okay, so what does he weigh? Because he's got the same frame that I do. All right, that's very clear. That's what the goal is, right? Get to 205, 206. What percentage body fat? Okay. That's it right there. Get clear, right? You know, you go looking to define the goal, the wealth, self-care, whatever it happens to be. You're not defining it clearly enough. Take a Sharpie. This is what I use. You can use, come back to the mic in a second. You want to get real serious about it? Take a Sharpie and write it on your bathroom mirror, right? Current weight, goal weight. Just write it down right in the mirror. I'll have to post a picture at some point on social media, my bathroom mirror upstairs, but I've got my weight measurements and body fat percentage all the way down one side of the mirror and all the way down the other side of the mirror. Cause I stand on a, a scale to, to monitor it, but right? you can't manage what you're not monitoring. You know, it's as simple as that. So you're not defining the goal. You're not framing the goal positively. Like what's the benefit to it? What are you going to do with the extra money that you're going to make? Oh, you like exotic cars. Cool. Me too. What are you going to buy? Oh, you got your heart set on what? McLaren 600 LT Spider? Very clear. Awesome. Or you want a coupe? Is it going to have a roof scoop on it? Right? Do you have it on your desktop? Are you clear? And what's what's the positive frame around it? What are you going to do with it? You're going to join the Exotic Car Club and hang out with me and we're going to go for rips? Awesome. You're very clear now. Right? Are you tracking your progress towards that? A weight you know, is, is, is simple to, to track. Buy a body fat percentage scale. Yes, I know they're not accurate, but buy a body fat percentage scale accurate to what you actually are right now, but they're accurate to your last measurement, right? Like mine's never accurate. Mine says I'm 23% body fat. It's, it's way off. But when it it shows me 19 to 23 in a range, and I go from 23 down to 19, I know that I've dropped, right? Manage measure sort of thing. I go to my uh, coach and he takes the body fat calipers and he's like, nah, you're about 13 right now. So <clears throat> frame it so that you're clear on what the benefit is to you doing that, right? The car, the money, the weight, whatever it happens to be. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.